Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 6 minus 2 divided by 2 minus 2. Everyone make this mistake. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B or option C. And in the end of the video we will check our answers. It will be really interesting, I promise you. First of all I want to start with this first interpretation. Here's our challenge. 6 minus 2 divided by 2 minus 2. A lot of students don't care about order of operation, they solve the challenges absolutely randomly. They say, okay, in a strict order from left to right, 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4. 4 divided by 2 minus 2. They say, okay, next step is division in a strict order from left to right, 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2, right? 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. Option B. A lot of students say that this is a correct answer and they go to the next challenge. But in terms of math, it's really great to know about order of operation. Because wherever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer, right? So we should know what is the correct order. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation. And how does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS does works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the highest priority. Next step is exponents. It's like 2 square, 2 cube, like that. Next group is multiplication, division group. And last step is addition and subtraction. So let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Here's our challenge. 6 minus 2 dividing by 2 minus 2. Here's our challenge, right? And what do we have? We have division in the middle and we have subtraction sciences. What we should do at first? We should divide or we should subtract. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Division has the higher position than subtraction, right? It means that division has the higher priority. It means that our first step is division. We should divide 2 dividing by 2. So what do we have? We have 6 minus 1 minus 2, right? We complete our first step division. Our second step is subtraction, right? This is our second step. As you can see, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents, multiplication and addition. So our second step is subtraction, right? In a strict order from left to right, 6 minus 2, which is equal to 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3, right? This is option C. So what is the correct answer, guys? What do you think? Option B or option C? A lot of students say that option B is the correct answer and other part of students say that option C is the correct answer. Let's look at our first interpretation. We solve this challenge absolutely randomly. We do whatever we want. We can solve our challenges like that. It's really bad in terms of math to solve our challenges like that. If we have brackets right here with parentheses, this is a correct answer because first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4, then division, uh, 4 divided by 2 minus 2, which is equal to 0. With brackets, this is a correct answer. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. So, don't solve our challenges like that. It's really bad and common mistake in terms, in terms of math. Let's look at our second interpretation. We solve the challenge here, here, according to PEMDAS order of operation. First, we divide because division has the higher position than subtraction. Division has the higher priority. 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1, right? Our second step is subtraction. 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3, right? This is a correct answer. This is a correct approach, correct solution. I hope your answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand my explanation. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you for your time. Have a great day and see you guys in the next videos.